I would like to quickly point out that John the Mouse video has a large selection of videos from North and South America for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get into the cheese of the matter. Yate Center Jail is made of sandstone blocks that came from a small quarry north of town just outside the city limits in 1898. You can see from the fire map of 1897, a year earlier, that other buildings was in the same spot. The people thought this new jail would be indestructible and inescapable. You can see it was built next to the old jail seen in October 1901 insurance map of the town. In the 1912 fire map, you can see small part of the old jail torn down, and the bigger part is labeled County Jail. I'm not sure when that building was torn down. The calaboose was used by the Woodson County criminals, terrorizing the small towns nearby until 1967. The last four years, it was in violation of human prisoner rights and determined to be unfit for habitation. I'm sure it's not the first and it won't be the last. I would like to share some stories of people escaping from this jail over the years. As I was looking through the old papers, looking for information, I came across this story from November 25th, 1903, Topeka State Journal, page five. All links down in the description below if you wanna see more. The Calaboose Break. The new chief who was going to stick about 36 of the city's prisoners for jailbreaking has been informed by the county attorney that his idea is a poor one. In as much as there's no law against breaking a town calaboose. In other words, the prisoners can tear down the shack whenever they feel like it. It is their privilege. Now, if they should poke a hole in the county jail, they would be subject to a sojourn in the state sanitarium. Not so when they simply push a slat off the city holdover. A county attorney encouraging people to be violent and destroy a building? I think it was Mark Twain that said, the past does not repeat itself, but it rhymes. It seems nowadays we have people determined in making us repeat the past. How far will they go? By looking into the past, I see lots of stuff to repeat. Let's move in to the newspaper articles. October 18th, 1901. Jailbreak at the Yates Center. The sheriff and the police of this city were notified by wire Sunday to be on the lookout for a man who escaped from the Woodson County Jail at Yates Center Sunday evening. He is a man who tried to pass a raised check on J.W. Coffey of the city last week, later working off the same check on a Toronto banker. The check had been originally for $4.10, but the man raised it to $24.40. He was arrested at the T Toronto, Kansas, tried and bound over to wait the action of the district court. He was stuck for forgery, sure, and so seized the first desperate chance to get out of jail. The paper gave his name as Holmes. The story is an update. Jailbreaker recaptured February 14, 1902. Yates Center News. Sheriff Patterson returned from Webb City, Missouri. 
Sunday, bringing with him W.O. Reynolds, alias W.E. Holmes, charged with forgery, who broke the jail hero last October. He led the sheriff a hard chase, but Mr. Patterson was persistent and finally landed his man back in the Woodson County Jail. McReynolds, or Holmes, is the man who raised the Yates Center bank check and attempted to cash it at Iola and the, at the Commercial State Bank here. Sheriff Patterson is entitled to credit for the persistency he showed in hunting down this man. Jail escapes rearrested. Yates Center, Kansas, March 31, 1904. The four suspects who were arrested at Rich Hills several days ago and escaped have been caught again and now in jail at Yates Center where they are wanted for the attempted robbery of the ex-press agent at the place several days age. And there's some thought that the men are the ones who perpetrated the attempts on the Bronson and Fulton Banks. January 8th, 1907. Sheriff captured him in Peoria, Kansas. January 8th, 1907. Ed Butler wanted for jailbreaking in Woodson County. Was captured at Hartford by Sheriff Stephen Hinsaw. He located his man in the upper story of an office building. Fuller had barred the door in the inside, but Hinshaw got a crowbar and pried the door off. Boxcar thieves gagged and bind the jailer and made their escape. Yates Center, Kansas, February 25th, 1908. A wholesale jail delivery in which four prisoners seized their jailer bound and gagged him, took his revolver and locked him into a cell. It was enacted here. The men made good their escape and at noon today, no word had been heard from them. F. J. F. Franklin, J. W. Collins, Harvey Adams and Adam Howard were boxcar thieves apprehended by the Wichita, Missouri Pacific detective. They were arrested 12 days ago while walking to Wichita from Yates Center. They had been tried and bound over to the district court. Bank robbers escape March 27, 1915. Harry Milton and James Harmon two youths who robbed the State Exchange Bank at Yates Center, February, have escaped from jail. The prisoners waited until after a deputy sheriff brought their supper. Then they climbed up the side of their cell and tore out the plaster ceiling. John the Mouse travel map is available for Google Maps. It will help plan your route to the locations of your favorite videos. It is free to use. I have the link below. Please visit the playlist tab for videos that I have sorted for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button 